give Ben and his team a lot of credit. They beat us in every area. Uh, I smelt that one coming the last couple of days. We've been good in practice, but not like we were. Uh, and I knew what team we were going to play tonight. Uh, I've been on the other end of getting beat in the first game of a rivalry game, and, 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 and they played, but just a toughness and desperation. We couldn't match it. And, you know, you got to have your – like we have in our winning streak, you got to have your good players, you know, to be good. We like offense, affect defense. And uh, so give Mississippi State credit. They got us in every area. Thanks, Star Talk. Yeah, Kermit, what did, uh, did Mississippi State do necessarily defensively to Devontae to kind of get him off track? I thought Devontae had great looks. I thought he had great looks. First half, he had point-blank shots, you know. Uh, I know one for 15, that disappoints me. But what disappointed me was just defending, was defending. He let it affect the other end. And, uh, you know, so, uh, but, yeah, he had, I thought he had, I mean, Mississippi State did a good job, but I thought he had some really good looks. He had some really good looks from three. He had some great looks right around the rim, point blank range. Didn't make it. And, uh, and then we didn't really have anybody else to pick it up. You know, Jarkel's four for 11. Uh, we, just none of our guys really had elite energy. Luis has one rebound. I thought KJ came in and had some some toughness and physicalness, you know. And I thought Austin Crowley came in, had some nice minutes, but uh, nothing really different, Ben, at all. Go ahead, Tyler. Troy, did you tell your guys in the locker room at halftime regarding their early shooting struggles? And going off that, do you think the week off contributed to tonight's shooting struggles in general? No, I don't think so. Mississippi State had the same, you know, and, uh, you know, so they shot 48. We shot 39. I don't. I, I thought they, they beat us to 50-50 balls. I uh, thought that was a big difference in the game. Uh, I don't think our ball, the ball really never got the third side very much like it has when our team had been scoring better. Uh, you know, we just went through a period of time where, you know, a dude missed, get his own rebound, missed, get his own rebound. I tried everybody, you know, see if we can find somebody to rebound and match some physicality around the goal. Uh, we, we don't talk about shooting woes at halftime. You know, we, all I do is look at the quality of the shot. And the quality of shot is good, then we like it. And I thought the quality of shot was good. Maybe, maybe not great, but, you know, we got to finish some balls. Go to Neil. Yeah, Kermit, you kind of referenced this just then a little bit, but Mississippi State was really effective close to the basket. They yep. got a lot of open looks at the basket kind of throughout the game. Was there – I know you guys were, were – you were frustrated with that. What was going on there? I just thought they were just better. They were just better. It just flipped. I mean, just better. They just – their bigs just went right at our bigs. And more physical. We didn't guard them early enough. They caught it too deep in the post. Uh, they rebounded their misses. Uh, their guards got some cheap baskets inside, beat our guards. It was just, you know, I take full responsibility. They just went right at us. And they were just better than we were within four feet of the goal. You talked earlier in the week, Kermit, about, you know, chasing the bubble and how you talked about this team. Uh, you, you told them, hey, here's what we're, we were going yep. for and that kind of thing. Were you surprised that today there was – the lack of energy that you referenced? You know, I, I smelt it come in the last couple days. No, we weren't bad, Neil, but we weren't like we were, you know. And, 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 I, and I coached them like that for the last two days. And, and just I couldn't warn them anymore how desperate Mississippi State was going to be. Uh, they had they, they'd lost some games, but they would played well in some losses on the road. I knew what kind of game it would be. And we just – so the staff and we were not shocked. And uh, we just didn't have our best edge. And we didn't play like a team that was desperate chasing the bubble tonight. Go to John. Kermit, how much better was this uh, Mississippi State team today than the one that you played a month ago in Starkville? It did, just the whole thing just flipped. They just said, we had, in start, we had the best energy, toughest team, you know, best bench excitement. And it just flipped. They had the best bench excitement, tougher team, beat us in all the areas. It just flipped. It's just done it for two years. And, you know, and so we talked a lot about closing the series and sweeping the series, and we just couldn't get it done. So give State credit. More questions for Coach. All right, Coach, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.